Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. We all know that the SNP love their pretendy embassies. They like to travel around the world pretending that they're important people and that they've got international business to do. Of course, they've got no such thing. They have no international standing. They have no international ability to hold anything abroad because they don't exist. Not officially, of course. They have no diplomats. They have no foreign service. Nothing. But still, they have these embassies, as they call them. They're not. They're little workshops for friends and family so that they can parasitise the Scottish taxpayer and live wonderful little lives all around the world. Well, it looks like that has just been put on hold. Well, for one office at least. They were going to open up the Warsaw office in Poland in 2026. That's now been stopped. And the reason they're claiming is, oh, it may not be of strategic value. That's the lie. That's the lie. What it actually is, is a mixture of probably we don't have enough money and probably the Foreign Office in London has said, look, we're fed up with your shit. We're going to stop you doing it. Uh, and then actually they're going to start pulling them back and say, get out of our embassy and go home and so forth and ban them from doing this just as a little punishment for being a complete load of international tosspots who like that travel. And it wouldn't surprise me. It's a lot of money saved. It's money that can be used to pay bin men or something. But uh, this, this Warsaw office that they said was so very important when they were trying to set it up, it was strategically important. It's, it's vital that we maintain good and solid links with Poland. Do you know what the Westminster government do? And the Westminster government can because they are the only sovereign state. Scotland, not so much or indeed at all. And so they can sign no treaties or trade deals or do anything. It's just a little jaunt at taxpayers' money. Well, these little jaunts coming to an end because reality is biting and reality comes in the form of poverty. Self-induced poverty. Close them all, bring them all home, shame the SNP. Oh, look at you. You wanted to be someone. You could have made it. You could have been a contender, Ma. And now look at you. Broken, bankrupt, desolate, sad, finished. Led by a man with a great interest in children and previously led by a man who hates white people and previously led by a maggot who absolutely loathed everyone who was English because perhaps she'd had a bad relationship when she was young. What a way to run a party. What a way to run a country. Well, not for much longer, eh? Thanks a lot. Bye.